Hi, my name's Katie and I'm a travel agent. I specialize in Disney and theme park vacations, though I can help you travel anywhere. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a room at Disney's Contemporary Resort. If you're interested in a whole resort tour, I have that as well and I've linked it here. We're gonna to tour a main tower, two queen, fireworks view room. And let's get started on that room tour and see all the details of this pretty amazing room. The first thing to talk about this room is the location. So the Contemporary Resort has several different buildings. The building in question that this room is in and that all main tower theme park view rooms are in is the main tower, also called the Contemporary Tower, right in the middle of the resort. This resort also has a garden wing, which has rooms that are identical to this room, but the views are different and you're not in one tall tower. It is like garden apartment style with shorter buildings. And then there is also a Disney Vacation Club portion of this resort, which is Disney's timeshare program, and that is Bay Lake Tower. And that, while it is part of the contemporary complex, is really treated like its own resort. The main contemporary tower is the original portion of the resort. It is original to Walt Disney World, and it opened with the park in 1971. It is also the building that the monorail goes through. So if you are familiar at all with Disney resorts, you probably have the iconic contemporary tower with the monorail going through it in your imagination. And that is the main tower that we are talking about. And that is where these rooms are located. Here's a look at the inside of the tower. And you can see that the hallways are open air into the atrium. So you are going to walk out of your door into a hallway that while it is inside, it is open air to the whole building. And you'll be able to see the monorail running through the building. One concern I had is that this might be loud. It is not loud at all and there's no movement that you feel when the monorail comes through. Right, let's get started with this very cute room tour. We're gonna start by the door. Standard magic band or magic mobile entry. We've got the little room occupied map, people with a cover. And then this is your view as you enter. We've got the bathroom right here, as well as all the closets. Let's start with the closets. So this room does have an Incredibles theming going on, which is really fun, but it is while it is certainly Incredibles themed, oh my gosh, look at their masks. <laughs> While it's certainly Incredibles themed, it's not overwhelming. And I think it is still a nice deluxe level feel in this room, even though there is uh, a themed overlay. We've got the luggage rack, lots of hangers, extra blanket, hair dryer. I'll open that and see what that is and a handheld steamer. There's no ironing board because you have that steamer in here. Here is a look at the hair dryer for those that is important too. Right next to the cute closet here, we have another closet with full length mirror. That's always important. More drawers, a safe, plenty of room in there and more shelving. So there's a lot of storage here. We have the coffee center. Got all of your coffee needs here. And this Keurig machine. I will say this is a nicer coffee machine than I have seen recently when staying at Values and Moderates. Maybe this just happens to be a room with a newer one, but very nice at this deluxe level resort. And that's a nice bucket some shelving here and I like how it looks cute mid-century modern with the mugs from all the different places from the Incredibles movies that's really nice and then there is an option here to have connecting rooms and down here you've got your mini fridge all right back towards the door we've got the sliding barn door that Disney World loves in their re-themed rooms. I don't know how I feel about it, but it's here. It looks nice. Here's the bathroom. It is very sizable and beautiful. I am loving this bathroom. Look at all the storage space down here, towel racks, towels, trash cans, 
You've got the dual sink, lots of counter space. You've got the lighted makeup mirror. You've got amenities. Tissues, and then look how the mirror has like a monorail situation because there is a monorail in Incredibles 2 and that goes through this hotel. So the theming is on point. This is a huge shower, large bathtub, sliding glass doors, dual shower head with the rainfall situation. You've got some in shower amenities there, a large shelf. This is a very nice shower. And you have hooks on the wall and you have a separate mode room here. Some really cute baby Jack Jack art. And then towel racks. This, ooh, dual closed door. And that locks. This big barn door does not lock. This is a very nice bathroom. Now coming down the hall, first thing we've got here is a table. It is marathon weekend and they've got a little flyer here all about that. You've got your take long guide to the magic remote. This is a nice table. And then you've got this ottoman, which you can move, which that's nice. So you can use that in several different ways. Got this big couch and this does flip down into a fifth sleeper bed and I will demonstrate that. It's a groovy table. Trash can and then there are plugs over here including USB which is great. Little stand area and then check out this lamp. Look, it like dims when you touch it. Very cool. You've got the accent wall with the large TV that will welcome you and have all of your Disney information. Then we have the balcony. First of all, look at the curtains. These curtains are so fun. Got Incredibles theming on them. Incredibles family. And then I've got the balcony out here, which I will insert some pictures of it in daylight. Here is the balcony. Two chairs, two tables. There is a double lock on this door for safety. Now here's the view you're paying for if you are getting a theme park view room. Not only can you see Magic Kingdom and the castle, you can see the other resorts and you can see a tons of modes of transportation. Train, monorail, ferry boat, bus, smaller boats. If you have a kid that loves transportation, this is their room. In my opinion, this is some of the best views you're gonna get on Disney World property. Some of the most beautiful, the most fun particularly if you are here for the Disney views. Like you can see the castle very well. It is amazing. And at night, perfect fireworks views. I'll show those later. Okay, coming back in from the balcony, we have the main attraction, the two beds here. First of all, adorable pillows. Love the accent pillows. And we've got underbed storage here. Now the floor is mostly tile or linoleum or whatever but then there is carpet on the bed area which is a really nice accent very cozy these are queen beds and lots of storage here again and then you've got oh the fun drawer that's fun phone more usb lots of lights and then we've got four of these little reading lights this lamp here, it's got Municiburg and their monorail. Super fun, uh, lots and lots of pillows. And then you've got little tables and more plugs on both sides. Yeah, that is great. And there is a lot of lighting in this room. Something that I notice when I'm filming these room tours is some of these rooms are kind of dark and just like, not just Disney, hotel rooms in general. 
can be very dark. This room is very bright and very airy. Okay, let's talk fireworks views. So they're gonna vary a little bit based on where your room is, but they're all gonna be pretty comparable to this. You can see the castle, you can see the fireworks, you can somewhat see the projections. If this is your first viewing of whatever particular firework show is being offered during your visit, you're not going to necessarily be drawn into the story and see all of the details the way you would if you're watching from inside the park. So I do prefer this for a repeat viewing of the show, but if you don't care that deeply about the story they're telling in a fireworks show, which is perfectly normal, um, then a viewing like this is fantastic. As a person that's seen this show several times, watching it again, I did wish that I could hear the music a little bit better, so maybe I should find the soundtrack and play it on my phone while watching, but it was fantastic watching the fireworks like this. No crowds, it was so pleasant. You can also see the electrical water pageant, which I could absolutely hear perfectly, and that is performed every night on the lagoon. This is absolutely a much more peaceful way to watch fireworks versus watching them in the park. After staying in this room, I would recommend it to families with young children who don't think their kids are going to make it through a full park day, but they still want to have the option to see fireworks. It is going to be so much easier to watch the fireworks from your room than from the park. Now, you're not getting the same immersive experience as watching the fireworks from the park. I don't want to say it's the same exact thing, but to a five-year-old, it's probably just as good, especially if they're really tired. Additionally, I'd recommend this room to anyone, adults or families, who are looking to have a super Disney-feeling vacation to stay in a Disney-feeling room. You can see Magic Kingdom. It doesn't get more Disney than that. The last group of people I'd recommend this for is someone that's having a short Magic Kingdom focused stay. At that point, you don't necessarily need to spring for the theme park view, maybe get a lake view if you want to look at that budget a little bit closer, but this is going to be a great location for that. All right, the pros and cons. The pros of this room, absolutely the view. The view is top tier here. The bathroom was lovely. The room was spacious and comfortable. And I really like that it is interior hallways and you are right in the middle of the action of the resort staying in this room. I see two cons with this room. One is that it is not budget conscious. This is an investment of a stay. And the second is that it was not super quiet because you have all of the cars and monorails and boats and the theme park right outside. It can be a little bit noisy, especially when the fireworks are going on. So if you have someone that really needs absolute quiet to sleep, but you want to stay at the Contemporary, I'd look at staying in a garden wing room. My review from staying in this room, a 10 out of 10. I absolutely loved this room. It is my favorite room that I have ever stayed at at Disney World. For me, this room was worth the price point. And now I was staying for three nights. If I was looking at a seven, 10 night stay, I maybe wouldn't Feel that it's worth paying that much money for that long of a stay just for my budget personally but I absolutely think that this is a fantastic room and if you're looking at doing a longer stay and you want to include this room but it's not in the budget to stay there for an entire long vacation look at doing a split stay split this with maybe a moderate resort something closer to Epcot you can have an Epcot centered part of your trip and a Magic Kingdom centered part of your trip this room's perfect for something like that I hope you found this room tour enjoyable and informative I hope that you are considering a vacation to Walt Disney World and if you are I would love to be your travel agent or if you're traveling anywhere else I would also love to be your travel agent see my contact information on the screen below it is absolutely free to work with me. There are no extra fees and you get VIP treatment. So why would you not go with a travel agent? Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I hope you have a magical vacation.